Hey you, welcome to another episode of the Unapologetic Human Podcast. My name is Juvenal Vitalis and I'm your guide and host in this space. So welcome back to my podcast and today we are celebrating a very special milestone, um, my 21st birthday. As I look back on the past 21 years of my life, I'm filled with gratitude for all the people, experiences and lessons that have shaped me into the person I am today. And on this episode, I'll be sharing 21 experiences and lessons that I've learned so far, um, from the pow- profound to the downright ridiculous. So sit back, relax and get ready to laugh, cry and and maybe even learn a thing or two. So And I know it's something which is very different. The things that I'm going to share with you are things that have shaped me into the person I am and I hope they can inspire you in some ways. And I call them daddy lessons because I know many, many of us don't get a time to spend with our, with our dads and who don't have that chance. Yeah, so just sit comfortably and as I rambled through my lessons... I don't know if you can be able to listen all of these 21 lessons because there are a lot. I just jot them down in a paper and I'm like going to read to you and explain what the context of the lesson or why I wrote or why I shared the lesson with you. My voice today is a bit cracky. I don't know why, but I had a rough, like a, I traveled before recording this episode. So that's why it's a bit crack. But yeah, I think it will be okay. So one of the first lessons is always be true to yourself. Don't try to be someone you're not. I mean, this lesson explains itself a lot. So maybe just to encourage you, there is no one else in the world that looks similar to you. There is no anything else in the world that is going to think like you or do or perform things like you so if if you don't feel like being yourself in some point then go down deep in your like secret and everything that you're you're holding yourself to to act or do upon and kind of assess everything that you're going through and try to to believe in your own capabilities and yourself that you are unique you are special and that there is no one who can convey his ideas and other creative things like you you are the only you so be yourself the second lesson is take risk and step outside of your comfort zone i know this is a bit awkward but I did step out of the uh, comfort zone. I was afraid to define to define my my studies because I was trying to think about how I and my relatives would act. But there was nothing outside of that. I just I talked to my family and they were understandable. So if you have something that you are afraid of taking a risk, just do it because you won't learn anything without taking risk and. If you're afraid and do all of your stuff in your comfort zone, then hold will see it. They'll never see a, a daylight. And we need people like you. We need people who think like you. We need people who do things like you. We need people who are very unique and very talented like you. So step out of that comfort zone and like stand up of that sofa and go out there. Sell your, uh, your creativity and your talents and your passion and you'll be okay. And lesson number three, it's okay to fail always. Use those experiences as opportunities to learn and grow. I have applied to so many opportunities, so many fellowship and grant and application, but at the end, you just receive a good reply for, for like one email. That's not an discouragement. I mean, those failures try to encourage you to hone your skill. Uh, one of the examples that I have is I had like an application that I had to apply last year and looking back at that application I never had any portfolio to to send to them and right now I I like the application window has opened again uh, so I'm okay sharing that with you guys the name of the application it's we are family foundation 
and they are funding creative individuals and collectives to to share their work and amplify voices of marginalized uh, communities and society to tell their own story, especially creatives and people who are working in the creative industry. So I never had any portfolio, but right now looking back at the application that I sent last year, I have a lot of things improved from the one that I did. So yeah, it's okay to fail. And who said you have to have a lot of money at 21? You're just making all that stuff in your head. So just, yeah, do what you gotta do. Use those experiences as opportunity and hopefully you get to grow. And yeah, lesson number four, learn to love yourself and practice self-care. You gotta love that body. You're not fat. You're not thin. You're not thick. You're not small. You're not short. You're not tall enough or you're not whatever they're telling you. You are you. You're beautiful. You're cute the way you are. And you got to love that body. It's the only thing that you have and it's your reception. If you don't take care of yourself, who's going to take care of that body? So you got to love yourself. Jump into the other lesson. Surround yourself with positive people who uplift and support you. This is really important as I look back to where I am from and right now, I am surrounded with the cycle of of people who are really amazing, who are doing amazing job. And I think there is a time where I can just call and tell my own problem and vent over them. And I, I have like an instant solution to what I, I, I have in in my mind. So surround yourself with people who create life, who don't vent always, who don't, they don't judge the the life as it is. They always question, they always support you, they always carry you up the ladder, they always tell you to do things that you're capable and things that they know that it's really going to help you grow. Don't be afraid to ask for any support. You need that. And surrounding yourself with the right people in the right network of people, I think it's going to help you more than just uh, finding anything. So, yeah, lesson number six is embrace change and adapt to new situation. So this is kind of similar to the one that I, I told lesson number three, which it's okay, it's okay to fail. And using those experience, experiences as opportunities to learn and grow, you can you can always embrace and adapt to new situation. If you're not good at changes, I mean, you gotta learn. So lesson number seven is don't take life too seriously. Laugh and have fun. And that's it. That's lesson just stayed right there. Don't take life too seriously. Laugh and have fun. <laughs> lesson number eight is treat others with kindness and respect. And when I look at this, it's always sparked like that ripple effect of kindness and treating other people with dignity and how you want to be treated as yourself. If you don't pre- if you don't treat people as you want to be treated, that's that's the end of the point. How would someone knows that you want to be treated equally, you want to be treated nicely, if they don't receive the same care that you want to be to be tainted? And it raises a lot of question to you as a person and, and as an individual that you want to be treated in a certain way, but you don't show that way to other people. So you have to, to learn that lesson. I mean, I learned a lot. And right now in a place that I am, he's kind of reminiscing the moments that I have throughout my childhood that doing the same thing to other people, that's kind of a cycle you're going through because... They will always come back to you and tell you that, hey, this one day you helped me with this and I was happy to know that you are there as a person and as a friend and I would like to return that favor to you. So it's always, it's like a return on investment you did, but in it's not in a monetary way or a currency. You are doing it for like a genuine uh and empathy and out of respect and kindness so treat others with kindness and respect as you want to be treated lesson number nine is take time to appreciate the little things in life this is similar to the one uh lesson number seven but this one is 
Having a moment to appreciate any achievements that you have in life is really crucial. I remember my mom told me that if you have even any milestone that that you reach and you set the goal to yourself, I mean, that's worth celebrating because you've never done that things uh, enough or in a good way in the past. Now that you had a, a great time accomplishing that, it's a milestone to you and you need to celebrate your milestone and appreciate the little things that life grants you and gives you. And it's just that feeling of appreciating little things makes you uh, know the importance of life. And like you have these important memories in your life that you're reminiscing and kind of revisiting. And yeah, I know I sound ridiculous and awkward, but I know someone out there <laughs> should know this. So, yeah. And another lesson that I've learned throughout my life is always be open to learning and expanding your knowledge. This is always like meeting new people, going to places, visiting and traveling and experiencing new new things, new encounters, new people in your life, new friends, new family members and uh i think yeah so that's explained a lot and practicing gratitude and focus on what you have rather than why what you don't have will help you on that which also add up to the lesson um, uh lesson 11 if i don't if i remember correctly and having gratitude and focusing on what you have rather than just thinking of what you don't have in life currently uh, it's going to make your life easy. It's going to make your life feel like accomplished and you have the level of certainty instead of uncertainty that you have like, hey, I need to have a position of this material. I need to have a position of this thing. Uh, I mean, sometimes as a young people and a teenager, I feel like having, uh, I mean, I'm talking about my materialistic things. So are they going to change my life for the better or just, oh, it's just having to satisfy my curiosity and uh, my greed for this little time I have. And then after having it, you don't have like satisfaction that you needed that thing. So yeah, just be happy with what you have right now and walk to the ladder, up to the ladder to obtain that you wish to have in your life. But small, small baby step, they are always counting also. So, yeah. And jumping up to the next lesson, don't compare yourself to others. You are unique and special in your own ways. And this is what, this is what I learned when I was in high school. I always like... Uh, saying what about that one what about that person i think a lot of things when happens and we're in a group we like comparing ourselves with other people in the same group why don't this person do it why don't they do it why don't they per perform this job or this task and i never really get to know why we tend to to point finger at other people that they have to do the job while we can do it and we have the capabilities and the initiatives to do those things and if you're doing that it's not healthy to you it's not healthy to other people but especially to you you have your own talents you are special in your own way and if you want to do things that are really really uh, genuine to you and they have an impact to other people. Just be you and do you. And you can convey anything in this world with being yourself and showing kindness to other people. So, yeah. And lesson number 13 is follow your passion and pursue what makes you happy. Don't wait for other people to make you happy. This, you're going to wait for this in decades, in millennials, and no one will never bring happiness to your doorstep. So, that's it. Lesson number 14, I always pray to be accountable on this one, which is be mindful of your words and actions, as they have the power to impact others. Anything you say 
anything you touch, anything you proclaim with your mouth gonna have an impact on someone. So always think about your action before you do them. But if they really mean it's you taking the risk, do it. But if they are impacting the other, other, other person in the room, you have to assess all the risk and the impact that they will have. And if it's about you centering the other people, then do it for the other people and make them proud and yourself proud. And I think that's the lesson number 14. Lesson number 15 is learn to forgive and let go of grudges. You don't need to stay with that in your chest. Always remember to forgive other people who do wrongs to you and they make you feel like you're not good enough or you feel like... You just want to choke out of them. <laughs> and I I don't mean like killing them or like strangle them. But yeah, sometimes you feel like, you know how how siblings annoy you. The young sibling in the house annoys you. Like they are always on your knife and you want to make sure you keep them in check. And they really are sometimes annoying. And you just want to, to push them away out of, outside of, the, of your zone and outside your compound that you wish to be free and just quiet for, for one minute and i think that's also uh one of the way that these lessons um uh, i'm rambling about that i've learned is about so learn to forgive and get out of that zone you're in of holding grudges to on people and lesson number 16 i think i've always learned uh a bit being lazy because I'm thin. Hey, I'm not saying that I, I don't love my body. I love the way I am. I love the way uh, I'm short and thin. <laughs> so take care of your physical health and well-being. This is the lesson that you have to learn. Drink a lot of water and take one day out to run and just do some jogging to take care of your own health. Because if you remember lesson lesson number four, so sir, uh, learn to love yourself and practice self-love. Eating good, healthy diets and drinking a lot of water and taking care of your physical health and well-being also add up to that lesson. So lesson number four and lesson number 16 are tied up together. Lesson number 17 is about being honest and truthful in all aspects of, of your life. Stop lying to yourself. Stop lying to your own mind and postponing things that you want to do and procrastinating. You're just running away from reality. You're not solving anything. Face your shit. If it's mean, like, just face them and hold, hold yourself accountable and be honest. And believe in, in yourself and your abilities. Don't be afraid to ask for help or support on what you need. Because asking for support doesn't mean you're weak. I believe that in cultivating meaningful relationship with those around you, you can get a, a plenty of helpful and insightful conversation that you can have with the people that you live with. And the lesson that I've learned, which is lesson number 21, is live in the present moment and always enjoy the journey. Learn, meditate and take care of your body and yourself. And if that's mean listening to music, I have a playlist for you that I called 21 from Spotify. Anyone who's, who's, who's using Spotify can access that playlist. And I think it will make your day and happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to anyone celebrating their birthday on 16th of May. And I really wish you have a good day and don't mind my cracked voice. If you want to share your own story, please, I'll link down the Google form to this, uh, to this podcast. And you can access the Google form and share your own story that you want to share with other people. Yeah, happy listening to the playlist. <laughs> That's a wrap for this week's episode of The Apologetic Human. I hope that you found something within our conversation that resonates with you and encourages you to become the best version of yourself. Until next time, let's all continue being unapologetic in our pursuit of understanding and knowledge. Mm-hmm.